An inspirational story about a mother, grandmother, and founder of a nonprofit. The Brooklyn judge is now adding to her resume. And Judge Rachel Fryer is believed to be the first Hasidic woman to hold the role. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner shows us this is not the first time Judge Fryer has broken barriers. Acting New York State Supreme Court Judge Rachel Fryer, who friends call Ruchi, shows us the judge's robe she wears with honor. It sits in the same office as her Jewish prayer book. I try to pray three times a day. Fryer says it's prayer, support from her family and community, including dozens of rabbis, and hard work that first earned her the honor of being elected as a civil court judge in 2016. Now she's been chosen by her supervisors to fill a vacancy on the Supreme Court. Religious leaders believe she is the first Hasidic woman to hold the role. My story is replete with naysayers. Why shouldn't I try? And if God created me as a woman, in a Hasidic community, with these ambitions and with these dreams, it means that I could make it happen. Fryer was appointed acting Supreme Court judge in December, but this summer she'll still have to run to be elected for the position in order to get the word acting removed from her title. All the values that I learned growing up about judging everybody to the bed, giving some of the benefit of the doubt, being patient with people, kindness, compassion, all those values is what I bring with me to the court. Fryer, a mother of six, started college at 30, became an attorney at 40, and first became a judge at 50. Now at 57, even in her new role, she is still involved in the all-volunteer women's ambulance corps she founded known as Ezra's Nashim. The first biggest secret is I live around the corner from my mother. So she was always there to help me. Second thing is, my mother always taught us that time is like money. It's not how much you have, it's how you spend it. And last but not least, she never compromises her values. At New York State Supreme Court in Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And another key in how the judge spends that time is that she only, on work nights, or only the nights she cooks dinners that only take 20 minutes to make. 20 minutes max, so she manages that for the big family and all the work she does. I would do that every night if I could. <laughs> 20 minutes, make it 10 minutes, it'd be easier. Well, good, good tips and live near your mother. I like that one. Uh, too. Always very, important, very right? Important.